From happy locals in rustic taverns to disgusting creatures in abandoned caves, every hero's road to glory is accompanied by helpful strangers and plastered with the bodies of nameless villains and creatures. But maybe they have some personality as well, or even family and friends. At least they deserve a name and that's why we added some cool new functions to the latest version of Chibola 8, which will help you to generate more immersive interactions with NPCs or creatures, especially when it comes to tokens on maps. And that is really cool, so let's get started. And before we do so, please make sure that you have two things activated. It's two modules. Of course, the first one is Chibola 8. Also make sure that you have the latest version installed as we do frequent updates. And the second one is Tokenizer. Tokenizer is an amazing plugin I already introduced to you in one of the older videos and it will help you to convert images into nice tokens which we can then customize and use on battle maps. The next thing I did is generate a map. So I generated this harbor here. I want my players to escape it and now we can add some creatures. And the easiest way to do this is put the Chibola macro to your hotkey list. I already have it twice so now I have it three times. You can easily get rid of this by just throwing it away but in case this is empty in your foundry vtt installation go to the chat window after you activate the chibola click on this small item and simply drag it to your hotkeys that makes it very easily accessible when editing stuff during a game session next thing i want to do is generate a new kind of npcs so as it's a harbor let's go for let's say a goblin and i just click on the chibola window and the ai master interface opens there i select an actor and i go to generate i call the new character goblin warrior Then I select a creature as a type and I don't need a special folder where I want it to be saved and I click on the create new actor button. As you see, it instantly showed up in the actor page and now I can generate an image for that, guys. I click on the generate button and select an AI in the next step. Here we also did some changes. As you see, there's a small new three dot menu in the end of this line. And when you click on that, you get the possibility to select from all the image AIs we already integrated. So far we have 19 of them, which is already quite impressive, but we will keep on adding more and you can select them based on the style you like or based on the amount of resources they consume as well as on the time that it takes to generate something with them. For this demonstration it doesn't really matter, so I will just keep with the one which was already pre-selected and close this window again to go back to my image generation. And now I will give the AI a prompt, so I want to have a goblin warrior. Next thing I want to do is add some depth to the image by improving the prompt and I will also select the right category of image here, it should be a character, and I will enable the not safe for work function to make sure that there's nothing in the prompt which will prevent the AI from generating the image. Not all AIs support this, but this one does. So I will just activate it to make sure that it's working. Next thing is click on image generation and then we should get our first goblin in no time. All right, here he is. Of course, you could now change the style, you could work with the image, you could specify the prompt to make it work for you. But for me and for this demonstration, it's already fine and I can simply save this to the actor I already generated and I close all those windows. And what we have now is an actor with an image here, it's the Goblin Warrior, and I will give him a token in the next step. To do so, I do a right click and open Tokenizer. And here you see that the pre-configured token is already almost perfect, but I want to do some small adjustments so I get rid of all the layers. I import the image again and then I add a frame to this and I select a simple one and uh, let's go for this one. Now we have our goblin in the frame yeah, like this and I can apply this token. And when I pick this goblin warrior now and place it on the map, as you see, there's a token generated. This token has a name, it's called Goblin Warrior, but of course this is not the name of the specific character showed in this case. So especially when I want to have more of them on the map, it would be really nice if all of them have individual names. And that's very easy to achieve with Chibola 8. Let me show you how you do this. After the creature tokens are placed, I could for example place some more in this case and of course you could also place different tokens of different creatures if you have prepared them you can open the chibola ai interface and go to actor 
and click on generate names. And after you click, you see that it automatically recognizes all the linked tokens. And here I can tell the AI what kind of names I want to have. So let's say I need goblin names. Then press on the dices here and all of the tokens will now be renamed automatically by Chibola 8. And of course you can adjust this as well, but it's a very quick thing to do if you want to give them some personality. Very fine. So now I save them and I close it. And as you see, now each of the tokens has an individual name and the players know who they are fighting or interacting with. The next thing I can do, and that is really cool, is add sound effects to a token. I will start with this guy because, again, there is no need to do the sound effects for, for each and every token. It is possible to just do it one time and it will automatically be linked to all of the same kind. So I click on this with the right click and you see the Chibola editing button here and it already tells you that it is for talking tokens. Now I click on it and I can select a voice module. We have different integrations here, for example, 11 Labs, which is the highest possible quality, but we also have cheap and quick ones and we even have sound effects. So let's go for a sound effect in the first step and I want to have a goblin which is screaming, for example. Then I give the audio file a duration, let's go for two seconds and I simply click on generate and here it is. It is now linked to this token but it's also linked to all of the other tokens of the same kind and if you click on the play button the goblin will scream now. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And of course you can also use this for other characters as well. So let's do it again and this time for example with a salesman which is waiting for our players at a marketplace, for example here. So I will go again to the Chibola generation window, I will pick a new character I want to create. I click on generate and I call it the merchant. This will be an NPC and I will again need no specific folder to save it in and I generate it. Then click on generate image for this guy. Improve the prompt again. Select character as kind of image and generate the improved prompt. Here he is. Okay, that's a bit a realistic image. I will add something to this. So let's say I go for a different AI now. We use this one. We keep the prompt and I add in a realistic comic style, for example. And regenerate the image. I'll select character quickly. Okay. All right, it's again not the style I wanted, but I have different videos on this channel which show you how to use a consistent style during all the generation, so I don't want to waste too much time with that. I will take this guy now and save him. I just want to show you how you can make him speak. So here he is in our actors list. I will click on it again and open tokenizer. Token is again almost fine, but repeat the steps I showed you before and I add a frame. Again, go for a simple one, this one, adjust it a little bit and apply. So now I can add my merchant to the map as well. Here he is. Uh, by the way, if you think the tokens are too big or too small, you can adjust that by changing the grid size. So if you go to the scene, this is my scene, and to configuration, you can here select the grid level. For example, if I go to 500, then the grid will be very big and the tokens are big as well but if this is too big then I can also go back and I can again uh, configure it and I set the grid let's say to 150 so they get a bit smaller. Alright, here is our salesman now and again I want to make him talk so I right click on it, I open Chibola and I just let everything with the standard settings and let's say he also introduces himself 
and he says for example hello my friend how can I help you today select any of the voices you want to try out and maybe you will find one which you usually go with or you even generate a new one with 11 laps then click on the narration button and the text to speech file will be generated I wait for a second here it is hello my friend how can I help you today all right, so this is the voice I chose, but of course you can adjust that to make it fit the creature or the person. And now it's saved with this character as well. And if the token moves towards our players or if the players move towards this token, you can just click on Chibola. Hello, my friend. How can I help you today? And the audio could be played. So as you see, this is an easy way to bring more personality to your NPCs, which support you in your everyday fight for epicness and now have at least a bit of personality as well. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you a lot of fun and success trying the great new tools in Chibola 8 and see you in the next video.